Hello everyone and welcome back to Golden Islands. I'm playing here Warhammer Vermintide no and an this is a very nice chaos. game, Death very addictive answer. and I like it a lot. So hopefully, 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 hopefully we can get this show on the road. What does Chicken want to do? Hello Chicken! How about me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You blow the horn. Yeah, you're very loud, you're very loud. Very good, very good. So there's no confusion. Okay. So hopefully everybody could hear me, everyone could hear him. And uh, let's... Oh, the dwarf is stuck. The dwarf is stuck. Okay, I'll go and blow the horn. Excellent, excellent. And I'll get the dwarf unstuck. There you go. There you go. Okay, dude, I've played this map actually a significant amount of time, so uh, I'm quite familiar with it. You are higher ranked, so you've played longer. However, on this map, I'm quite comfortable with what to do and when to do it. However, if you want to change some tactics, I'm all open for that. All new tactics are, of course, good tactics. Okay, okay, okay. See, it's very difficult to form a correct sentence because there's too much stuff happening there's basically too much stuff happening and you can't talk properly I need to focus on the R the right mouse button let's push them off let's push them off oh yeah okay okay forget come here the bots will figure that piece out come here come here they're coming from behind we need to push them off so I'm pushing them off here Okay, okay. I got a little bit damaged there, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll possibly, probably heal that. Okay, okay, okay. In the east. They're coming from the east. Okay. There's so much happening at the same time. You need to focus on so many things. And talking to other people requires also a significant amount of timing. Because... What the hell? Can the bot stop flying? Falling down. They're continuously falling. Stupid bots. Anyway, this only happens when I'm recording. When I'm not recording, they're not doing this stupid shit. It's like they know. They know when to do stupid shit. Basically, he's too, a little bit too aggressive. You're a little bit too aggressive when going towards the door. If you go in there, you will pull the bots behind you. Just a tip, man. Just a tip. Anyway, so you need to focus, and it becomes even more difficult when some people type. Okay, I try to guard you. Yes, yes, I understand. I understand. I'm just saying, avoid going too close to the door. You should stand relatively close, but not too close. So, it's when people are writing to you, and you need to fight. Basically, you can't even look a little bit there to the side. Because you'll completely miss that. You'll miss what is going on. So you can't even take the few seconds to read what's going on there on the side if someone is talking to you. Because you need to focus completely on this. See, I can't even hit the guys because too much of my brain capacity is going towards talking. So I can't hit anything. Did he kill them? Did he kill them? Okay, okay. Good work, good work, good work, good work. Okay, first wave is relatively simple. Second wave, they're coming from behind. Yeah, they, they come from uh, anywhere. They can come from behind, but they can also come from the front, up there, there, and Get there. Ready. What is problematic, it doesn't happen on this veteran level. I'm playing veteran level here. It is uh, when they when you're fighting here and they also come from behind in the middle of the fight. So where are they? Not there. They're 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 there. They're not there. No, that's the water. They're not there. They're not there. It's possibly the south. 
possibly the south. Just check in, check in, check in, check in. I hear claws skittering on and then when you have uh, rat ogres, things get even more interesting because they do a hell of a lot of damage and they can push you a lot. They can push you a hell of a lot, so they can push you off the bridge. So you basically either have to be able to push them off, which you can only do with grenades, or you need to run around their own courtyard and slide to avoid them. Slide before they hit you. It is a lot of things happening at the same time. And by the way, I'm a huge Warhammer fan. I've been a huge Warhammer fan for many, many years. So huge that I can say that Games Workshop basically messed up a lot of things. What I don't like what they did was to Bretonia. I really liked the fifth edition of Bretonia. Bretonia is a land of chivalry, chivalry and knights, damsels and heroes damsels and champions or whatever you want to say in the fifth edition anyone and everyone could become a knight you uh, got little help from your village you could become a knight and uh, you helped other people and such things and there were female mages there were male mages usually most of them were trained in the empire however there were mages of both genders and then edition 6 comes and it's been the same sh shit for 7 and 8 basically they turned the Bretonian nation into a half corrupt oppressive like very oppressive feudal system where the knights live a very glamorous and uh, comfortable life but the peasants they live an extremely oppressive life and they have 90% tax, 90%, which is just impossible for a peasant, just impossible. So what is happening is a lot of malnutrition, a lot of people are being suffering enormously, being mistreated because they have to pay 90% as a peasant. It's not after you've made like 50 years worth of harvest in one month, then you have to pay 90% above it. No, it's from the first little seed, you have to pay 90%. And also all of the male mages disappeared. They are taken away. And um, both the male and female mages are taken away. Some female mages return as damsels of the Lady of the Lake, but no male mages return. So the backstory is that a elven god has is the Lady of the Lake, the deity that the Bretonians worship. And basically the wood elves are using the Bretonians as a buffer zone towards orcs, chaos, and everything else that might attack the wood elves. So what I don't like is the whole concept of this, because life is so brutal, so terrible, that of course anyone in Bretonia, or not anyone, but many people, who basically sell their souls to chaos to just get a better life, because it's so impossible. So that's why I think it's so ridiculous. The guys at Games Workshop, and I remember this, I remember them saying this, or writing this more correctly, they said, oh, we wanted to make it a little bit more dark. Well, uh, basically, those guys, they are the B students, the B writers. They don't know, they, they can't think about it. Even though my whole brain capacity, almost my whole brain capacity, is going towards fighting here, I can still divert enough to explain the situation, hopefully, but I missed that the dwarf was down here. So, if, if such a thing would happen, it, it can't. Basically, a person who oppresses the peasants to such a degree, as they do in Bretonia, that person would be massively susceptible 
towards chaos. So such a person would obviously, it's in the counter interest of the wood elves to make such a system because that means person, people who are susceptible to chaos, who are easily corruptible, now the person is joining the game, are the ones in charge. So you would never want such a person in charge. You would never want the person who... Uh, oh, healing. You would never want such a person who exploits the peasant class, who exploits the common man to such a degree ruling. You would never want to give them power because such a person is susceptible to chaos. In addition to that, the Ara Hey, hey, man! Hey, hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? In addition to that... In addition to that, the peasants would basically revolt and or and or another gas rat or they would simply sell their souls to chaos because life is so unbearably hard. It doesn't make sense. But the guys in the marketing department the guys in the marketing department or they just thought oh we need to make it a little bit cool we need to we need to make everything cooler it needs to be cooler so it's not enough that the chaos are evil it's not enough that the undead are evil it's not enough that the dark elves are evil everything needs to be evil everywhere and there needs to be misery everywhere there cannot be any common decent people no only misery on top of misery however they never thought this through. Such a person, as I said before, such a person who extracts such misery on the common man would himself be very susceptible towards chaos. A person who does not, however, uh, extract such misery on the common man would be a person who is resistant towards chaos. So it would be preferable to have such people in charge. Also, speaking from a strictly mathematical and strategic point of view, a, a larger nation with more people would offer better defense towards everything than a smaller nation. Because the peasants pay 90%, they are not able to reproduce in as large a number as possible. Because only knights and the uh, nobility, only the nobility can become knights, that also limits the possibility of people becoming knights. Again, if you're using someone as a buffer state, you do not want them. You want them to be stronger. However, however, of course, there is the possibility, oh, we're gonna be full. I don't know, excellent. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, he left the game. So possibly the character he wanted to play as wasn't there. We have a guy here. Okay, so that's what really pissed me off about... Oh, can't save her. Okay, I need to save her. He's getting the thing. There you go. So let's go back to the thing here. Anyone can get the endurance badge. These badges are collectively shared. They are for everyone. Anyway... Uh, who is you? Kevrar. Kevrar is his name. Okay, he's dead and done. Excellent. So that bothers me about the Bretonian. Basically, I just see it as a marketing gimmick. Or we need to make everything more dark. We need to make everything more oppressive. Because it's not enough that we have so much evil. It needs to be more oppressive. It's just ridiculous. It could never work. Okay, the elf died. When people die here on the last stand, they do come back and you can free them. They either come back in the green area over there or in the south area over there. So that what really upsets me about Warhammer is what they did to the Bretonians. Just an unrealistic oppressive culture. And I really like the Bretonians. I really like them. Like the 5th edition was so nice, everyone can become knight, usually it is the tallest and possibly the strongest person from the village. 
they become a knight, they become a knight errant, they work for a knight of the realm. Then possibly they set off for the quest to find the chalice and become a grail knight. But now it's just ridiculous, it's ridiculous. Also, chivalry cannot exist. People who are chivalrous, chivalrous, <coughs> excuse me, would never oppress people to such a degree. Ogre time, ogre time, wrong weapon. Okay, now the ogre comes. There he is. And hopefully, we can oh, good work. No, no, they failed. Yeah, yeah, come up here, jump up here, ogre. I got a little present for you. Oh, he's taking too long. Okay, okay, ogre. I knew to do this. There. Oh, again, that thing. He saved on the edge. He saved by the fucking edge. Stupid ogre. Yeah, 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 I know how to fight you. There you go. You're so ugly. No, I don't know how to fight you. I was too cocky. It's all up to the elf. All up to the elf. Well, yes, however, usually you can push the uh, ogre off the thing. But we failed here. Hopefully the elf can do it. And rem Oh, it's a bot elf. Well then, not much hope there. We will see. Maybe they can do it. Maybe the bot can do it. Maybe not. Let's hope the bot can do it. Okay, okay. Yes, I want to die here so that I can choose. <laughs> it seems like it's stuck. Oh no, okay. No, no, don't give up hope. We still got hope. It's still got a little bit of health. Oh, oh, hopefully it can win. I'm not dead yet. Oh, oh, we lost. Oh, oh, well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay, the ogre got us. The ogre got us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll talk more of Warhammer. I'm a big Warhammer fan. And Games Workshop really messed the whole thing up.